Hello everybody, Toreno here, and welcome back to another episode of my proposed International Tank Tech Tree series. In the last episode we looked at the armoured vehicles used by Australia that could go into the tech tree. Today we're looking at the armoured vehicles used by Austria that can go into the tech tree. Now I wasn't sure whether to include Austria into the tech tree at first, because one, there's only one or two armoured vehicles that could possibly be included, and it, Austria was kind of... Uh, occupied by Germany in 1938, so most of these could theoretically fit into the German tech tree, like with the Czechoslovakian tanks. However, by adding them into the international tech tree, or into the international tech tree and the German tech tree, it helps to boost up the numbers of vehicles available to us, but it also opens the possibilities of uh, histor um, alternate historical events um, involving Austria. I'll talk about them more at the end of the episode. But I'll quickly give a little bit of information about Austria during this time in history. Um, well, it was going through a bit of a turbulent time. From what I understand, there was a few coups in Austria, and I think it ended up with a single-party dictatorship, basically. And in 1938, Austria was annexed by Germany. Uh, basically, the Germans, or they saw the Austrians as the same ethnicity, or basically as the same people, said that, oh, they should be part of Germany, and you know, took over, uh, annexed Austria. I believe they called it the Anschluss, or Anschluss. Um, something like that. I'm not really good with my German pronunciations. Uh, from then on, it was basically part of Germany until 1945. Then, you know, the war ended. It was uh, occupied by the Allies. Only got its independence in 1955. Um, basically explains why we've only got two armoured cars, because uh, that was the only things they had the time to produce. You know, after that, they were part of Germany, and... You know, 1955 is outside the cutoff date by the time they develop anything. You know, being the 60s and 70s, so that explains why there's only a few vehicles here, um, and why it could possibly go in the German tech tree. But again, like I said, I'm putting them in the international tech tree as well. But um, without further ado, let's get straight onto the episode. Now, the first vehicle we're looking at is the ADGC, um, an armored car used by the Austrians before you know the annexation. Um, not much to say about it really, it was armed with a 20mm cannon, had 11mm of armour, various machine guns, um, and could do a speed of something like 43 miles an hour, so lightly armed, lightly armoured, uh, quite quick. Um, not really much else to say about it. Where would it go battle rate, rating wise? Um, the Panzer 1, or oh, Panzer 1, the Panzer 2 um, with a 20mm cannon is about, well it's a reserve tier, it's battle rating 1. Same with the Russian T-60, which also uses a 20mm auto cannon. So, uh, battle rating 1 to 1.3, really, because um, armoured cars can also have other uses. 1.3 is really the max I would have it. Uh, 1.7 is like, probably a bit too high, but I suppose it could survive there. But I really wouldn't recommend it being at that battle rating. Now, I've also heard some information about a T-26 cannon being put on some of these armoured cars with a 45mm cannon. Um, I've decided not to include that in this tech tree, because one, I haven't been able to find any definite evidence this happened, and two, this probably would have happened under German control, you know, when they were in the German army, so, you know, that's not really Austria, so I haven't included that for those reasons. Now, the next vehicle caused me a lot of confusion, I wasn't really sure whether to add it into the game. Um, I'll link here to any pictures of it, I find, but it's the ADKZ armoured car. Um, Basically, there wasn't much information on it, and all the information I could find was very contradictory. One of my books lists it as a armoured car, which it implies was built in some numbers, and says it was armed with a 15mm machine gun, as well as a 7.92mm machine gun. Um, doesn't list the armour, uh, doesn't list the speed or anything. So I decided to do some more research, and from what I understand, most of the other um, places I looked at suggest it did have a 20mm cannon. Unfortunately, there are still many contradictions. Some say one 20mm cannon and an 8mm machine gun, some say two 20mm cannons. Um, I haven't been able to find any information about the armour or speed exactly, so I'm not I'm not sure whether this should even be added, because, um, you know, there doesn't seem to be much information about it. Now, like I said earlier, my book suggested it was built in some numbers, but some of the other places I've looked at suggest it was a prototype, uh, possibly multiple prototypes built on the same chassis. So this could possibly go in the premium lineup as a rare prototype vehicle, but then you're left with only one armoured car, which sort of, um, you know, it leaves Austria with only one vehicle that's readily accessible for everyone. 
barring the use of actual real money and golden eagles. So where would I put this vehicle in Wharf under? Uh, tier 1, um, really most of it depends on the armament. If it's got a 15mm machine gun, go straight to battle rating 1, it can't survive any higher than that. If it's got a 20mm cannon, could possibly go up to 1.3. If it's got two 20mm cannons, um, 1.7 is the very highest I would put it, but still I'd suggest put it at 1.3. It would be a nice vehicle to have in the game, but I just don't think there's that much information to justify having it. Um, but I'll still put it on here just in case. So now we've looked at what vehicles Austria could bring to a potential international tank tech tree, um, how would they fit into War Thunder events wise? Uh, you know, realistic battles, simulator battles, uh, alternate history events. Well, the obvious one would be they um, stand up to the Germans in 1938 and fight back. Uh, although that could be a bit one sided with only armoured cars. But then again, the Germans would have had not many tanks themselves and only um, early models. I believe the Panzer 3s and Panzer 4s would all be prototypes. I'm not even sure if they could have been used in battle or if they were taken to Austria during the annexation. Uh, the vast majority of tanks would be Panzer IIs and Panzer ones if they're ever added into the game, so that would even things up a little bit. If Panzer III's and Panzer IVs are added in, you could ha have the Allies join in the event to even things up. Um, other than that, I can't really think of any other events. Um, maybe some miscellaneous um, Russian events with the um, armoured cars under German control, but other than that, I can't think of anything major, but, um, you know, I, I would quite like the annexation war type event, that would be quite fun, and, you know, I think Austria would be a very good um, fit for the game, even if they have only got a few vehicles. So, that's it for today's episode, um, been a bit shorter than usual, um, but with only two vehicles to look at, that's not too surprising. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode, uh, leave a like if you did, um, subscribe if you like these sorts of videos, uh, leave feedback, could always do with more feedback. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.